Gold box conjecture is one of the oldest unsolved problems in number theory and in all of mathematics. It's named after the German mathematician Christian Goldbach, who stated the conjecture in a letter to Euler in 1742. The conjecture is simple to state every even integer greater than 2 can be expressed as the sum of two prime numbers. For example, the number 10 is an even integer and can be expressed as the sum of 2 primes 3 plus 7 or 5 plus 5. Despite its simplicity, the conjecture has proven to be incredibly difficult to prove or disprove. The conjecture has been tested extensively by computer for even numbers up to very large limits and found to be true. But this does not constitute a proof for all even numbers. A mathematical proof must show that the conjecture is true for all cases not just for the ones we've checked. The conjecture is interesting because it's about prime numbers, which are the building blocks of the integers. Prime numbers are both simple and complex. Simple because they're the numbers that have exactly two distinct positive divisors, one and the number itself, and complex because they exhibit a mixture of regularity and irregularity. They appear to be distributed randomly among the integers, but they also exhibit patterns, such as the one suggested by Goldbach's conjecture. Despite the conjecture's simplicity, it has proven to be incredibly resistant to proof. Over the centuries, many of the greatest minds in mathematics have tried and failed to find a proof. The conjecture has also resisted all attempts at disproof, leading to a kind of stalemate. There have been some partial results. For example, in the 1930s, the Soviet mathematician Ivan Vinogradov was able to show that every sufficiently large odd integer can be expressed as the sum of three prime numbers, a result that is in the spirit of Goldbach's conjecture. More recently, the Peruvian mathematician Harold Helfgott proved a generalized version of the ternary Goldbach conjecture, which states that every odd number greater than five can be expressed as the sum of three prime numbers. Despite these partial results, the full Goldbach conjecture remains open. If it were proven, it would be a major breakthrough in number theory. The conjecture is deceptively simple, yet it touches on deep questions about the nature of prime numbers and the structure of the integers. The search for a proof of Goldbach's conjecture continues to be one of the great challenges in mathematics. In terms of practical applications, Goldbach's conjecture doesn't have many direct uses outside of number theory. However, the search for a proof has led to many important developments in number theory and has helped to expand our understanding of prime numbers and the integers. The conjecture also serves as a reminder of the many mysteries that remain in the world of numbers and of the beauty and depth that can be found in even the simplest mathematical questions.